Hey guys, welcome to this video and it's time to tell you about 10 cool things that you can do with Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is called separate app sound. And this is a feature that actually allows you to play sound from your phone from two different apps on two different devices at the same time. So for that you need to go in settings, go in sounds and vibration and go all the way down and you will find separate app sound. Now go in here and turn this feature on. Once you do that, it will ask you to select an app. You can go in here and select any app that you want uh, to play the music on or a video on. You can even add more applications. Once you have done that, it will ask you to select an audio device. So go in here, select the audio device. This can be anything, your Bluetooth headphones, your Bluetooth speaker or anything else. Once you have done that, now uh, the music from the app that you have selected will play on the audio device that you have selected. And now what you need to do is go in notification panel, go in audio output and change it to my phone Galaxy S9 Plus. So what will happen is that the music from the app that you have selected will play on the device that you have chosen and the music or sound from any other app that you will play on your phone will be played on your phone. So at the same time you are using two apps and streaming sound on two different devices and that's pretty cool. Now the next feature that I want to talk about is called app icon badges. So for that you need to go in settings and go in notifications and here you will see app icon badges. Now go in here and turn this feature on. Now what this allows you to do is that you will uh, get these red dots if you have a notification. So like these ones uh, that I have got on Facebook and Instagram. So once you turn this feature on you will get these badges now you can change them you can show the number and then it will show you the number of notifications that you have from the app and then you can turn on this feature called show notifications now what this does is that whenever you will long press on that app icon it will show you a short preview of the notification and you can simply swipe it to remove the notification it will be removed from here as well as from the notification panel moving on to the next feature you can also hide apps on samsung galaxy s9 plus and i know that this is an issue for a lot of people and i'm really happy that samsung has this feature on samsung experience 9.0 so first of all you need to go in settings go in display and then go in home screen here you will find this feature called hide apps go in here select any app that you want to hide press apply and it will be hidden now if you want to unhide the app go back in here and unselect the app, press apply and it will be unhidden. Next up, as always, we have got edge panels here and we have got apps edge. Now here, uh, you can actually create app pairs. Now Galaxy S8 Plus didn't have this feature, but Note 8 did. But now S9 Plus also have this feature. So what you can do is simply uh, tap on a blank space here. It will take you to the app edge. Now here you can tap on create app pair and choose two apps that you want to launch side by side. So let's launch calculator and chrome side by side and press done and you will see this app pair formed here go back launch apps edge tap on it and it will launch two apps side by side now there is another pretty interesting feature here and that is if you tap on this button in the center you can tap on this plus icon here and this will add this apps pair to your home screen so simply swipe and you will find this app pair on your home screen you don't have to launch apps edge all the time to launch app pair you can simply set it to your home screen and tap on it and launch multi window straight from there moving on to the next feature you can also play around with the navigation bar down here so you can go in settings go in display and here look for navigation bar go in here change the color of the navigation bar it's very subtle but you can change it and make it look different and then you can also change the layout from recents home back to back home recents whatever your preference is now it's been a few years that samsung has been adding this really cool feature on their phones and this is called game launcher and gamers actually love this feature so you need to go in settings and go in advanced features and here you will see this option called games turn on game launcher go back and you will find this folder on your home screen now what this does is that it actually takes all the games on your phone and put them in this folder now it has got a couple of really good features so you can launch games in a muted form so you know the game will not make any sound if you want to play it silently and then you can also play game in power saving mode if you are in a mood to conserve battery in 
high performance mode if you want absolutely best gaming performance or in normal performance mode and by extension of this game launcher if you play any game you get this game launcher features within the game as well so you can turn off any alerts during the game you can lock the home button you can lock the edge panels and you can lock the navigation keys so you don't touch them accidentally you can take a screenshot and even record your gameplay now as always we have got multi window here and it works as always you have to hit the recents button and then tap on this icon here it launches one app go in app list and then you can launch another app here so that's pretty standard and you can obviously resize it if you want but what i am interested in is the ability to launch apps in pop-up view so if i go back and for example i go in settings i can simply swipe in from the top right or left corner towards the center of the screen and it will launch the app in pop-up view like this and you can move it around you can resize it you can also minimize it and it will stay on the screen in this floating app icon you can go ahead and launch another app also minimize it and then move it around and it will stay on your screen as a floating icon you can launch as many apps as you want every app that supports multi window supports this feature and if you want to remove it simply select and remove now you can turn on this multitasking feature by going into settings go in advanced features and go in multi window and here turn on split screen view and then turn on pop up view action as well and you will be able to access both of these multitasking features now the next feature that i want to talk about is called performance mode and for that you need to go in settings and go in device maintenance now this is basically uh, where you control everything you know that's technical about your phone so you can control the battery you can control storage memory and device security but there is this one option called performance mode that i'm interested in so go in here and here with one click you can change the whole profile of your phone if you like playing games simply tap on game and it will do whatever it needs to do to make your phone optimized for gaming so if you tap on game it will tell you what it will do to optimize gaming and you simply apply it and start playing games if you like you know watching a lot of videos on your phone and play a lot of music you can go for entertainment and then it will show you what it will do to launch this profile and then you can go for high performance mode if you want absolutely best performance out of your phone everything is set to high standards you can go in here again check all the details that it will do and press apply and launch your phone in high performance mode moving on we again have always on display so if i turn off the display the always on display comes on you can now change how it looks so you need to go in lock screen and security go in clock and face widgets now here go in clock style and here you will see all the clock styles so we have got digital clock here analog clock here calendar view and then we've got this dual clock view now here you can change the clock type you can also uh, tinker with the color so give it your own style and own look and then on the top here you can change how the clock looks on always on display as well as on lock screen so you can do pretty much everything that you do on always on display you can tinker with it on the lock screen as well in the end one of my most favorite features is this new notification settings which allows you to see these notifications on the lock screen in a transparent manner i really love this setting and they have actually uh, introduced this in samsung experience 9.0 so for that you need to go in settings go in lock screen and security and here find notifications go in here and here you can actually first turn on this feature and then change the transparency so as you move on the transparency bar you can see how your notifications will look on the lock screen you can go all the way to low and all the way to high to make it completely transparent and obviously you can uh, change whether you want to show the content on the lock screen or hide it whether you want to show only notification icons or a little bit more detail and you can change notifications from which app you want to see on the lock screen and where to show them on the lock screen always on display or both of them so that's about it from this video guys those were the 10 cool things that you can do with samsung galaxy s9 plus i hope you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions you can always ask me in the comments or you can catch me up on twitter as well i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye